Oh, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? How y'all doing? Hope you're well. Um, this is part two for the Holly stuff. Uh, just kind of a run through on the wires I used to power like my fans and just the extra wire and stuff that goes with the Holly that's not plug and play. Because, you know, my it's 99 Trans Am. I wanted to use as much of the factory stuff as I could, like the factory fan relays and you know fuel pump stuff like that so i had to search a few different forums and a few different places i couldn't find any videos good videos directly on the wiring so this is what this is i'm going to try to make it short and sweet uh with ls fest coming up here in a few days i've got to get some memory cleared up so to start with ow to start with a few little odd and things you'll need if you didn't already figured it out uh, again, I made a video on just the install and stuff like that. Go check it out. Um, I've got some information in it. But for an oil pressure sensor, the factory oil sensor I had was a one wire, one wire connector. You need a three wire for the Holly, so the Holly, so you can data log it and stuff like that if you're if you want to. That part number is AC AC Delco one two six seven seven eight three six. I got it at AutoZone. It screws right in to the on the back of the motor, and the Holly plug-in plugs right in for it. And you just set it up as a GM LSX sensor in the on the laptop, and boom, it'll start reading correct. I have my I also have a uh, manual oil pressure gauge in my car to verify it, and it works perfect. So my phone's also dying, so I'm trying to hurry. So. After that, you know, so real quick, when I done my Holly, you know, your factory computer sits here and you have some connectors and stuff that rides right up through here and then they run on down and run through there. Uh, everything that I used off the Holly and moved is all wire loomed and ran in there. Zip tied down there, hidden, looks nice and clean in my opinion. And then all the factory wire and harness, I got to clean it back up because I had to get back into it. but. You know, I unweaved it through there and run it back through there. So as far as what sits right here, there is one that comes through. It's a single wire with a it's single plug in. It unplugs right here. If you'll chase uh, trace it down, it runs back around to your starter. Keep that one. You'll have to have it. Um, and then I'll just lay my notes here so you can read those too. But on these connectors, you'll have... You know, one of them is a C101. Uh, pin A should be yellow and black wire. Pause that if you need it. But it's a yellow and black wire. It's to make your... Show back around here. It's to make the key work. Your key fob. and Whatever. You ground it along with pin H in that same connector. Should be a black and white wire. That is your fuel pump ground course you'll ground it i ground both of them together the yellow and black and the black and white pins a and pin h ground them together uh pin d should be a green and white wire that goes to your fuel pump your fuel pump relay cut on whatever something your holly comes with a green wire that controls your fuel pump connect them to so pin d it's green and white wire goes to the green wire for the holly that gets your fuel pump working all right, moving on. You have, and I will I will throw this in there too. Everything for them connectors, most everything off them connectors run through here, which run over to your fuse boxes. So, you know, trace them down, make sure they're right, because because I believe some of them will come in right here. But for the same connector C101, for pins B and E are both pink wires. Again, they run over here. They're fused. Um, you can use them for uh, your Holly has a 12 volt key on switch wire or whatever lets it know to turn the Holly on I use one of the pink ones for that you can do that and then I use the other one for my nitrous uh, solenoid driver but anything that you need a, a switched key on 12 volt power source use that so now onto the fans I, like I said, I use my stock fan wiring. The, there's another connector there to C100. 
Um, it has pins H and J. I think H is light blue and J is green. So the Holly comes preset with uh, two of the outputs already as fans. You can keep those or you can change them, but I kept mine just so I'll have, you know, a low fan and a high fan. I believe it's like red and gray and then gray and yellow or something like that. Just check your Holly book. It'll tell you or check the laptop. It'll tell you. But that's what you need to run them to. The light blue and the green pins H and J on C100. That's the way I had to do this. Just cliff note. My connectors were all the same color for some odd reason. They're supposed to be different colors. But mine were the same. So I just had to match up pin numbers with wire color and make sure I had the right one. So, I mean, that's that's pretty much it for your holly. Your fuel pump, and then you got your key on stuff. Um, yeah, and then for your air conditioner to work, if you still have AC, there's a separate wiring harness. I'll put the link, the link to it in the description. And then your alternator. I just bought this one off eBay. You got to have a 12-volt exciter wire for it. Now you can use one of those pink wires, so I've read. You just take a, I think it's a 194 light bulb socket and wire into it and put a light bulb in it, and it'll give it enough resistance to turn the. All right, so yeah, I dazed off in that last one because my phone popped up a thing and I was reading it, but it basically telling me that it's so hot it shut my camera down that it needed to cool off. But anyways, I'm inside, got that going. So you can do the light bulb thing for the alternator, or you can order a uh, just a little wire and harness from Holly. It comes with a little four-prong plug-in with one wire coming off of it. It's got a built-in resistor in it, and you run it to one of the pink wires or to a 12-volt key-on source that only comes on with the keys on. And, yeah, that'll fix your alternator issue. Um... Okay, so real quick, I lied about the pink wires um, where I have mine running. I actually ran one to the Holly, 12 volt, key on power, tells the Holly when to come on, and then I ran one to um, the alternator. The nitrous driver, however, it gets a 12 volt uh, constant power, goes straight to the battery terminal with a fuse on it, and then you have one wire that runs to the Holly that tells it, you know, hey, do your thing and then it's got one wire that comes out the third wire goes to the solenoids hence the solenoid driver it helps with you know if you're trying to progress your nitrous in whatnot so yeah i see i'm trying to think so other than that i mean uh under the dash i almost forgot about this one under the dash um you know i said in my last video there's two plug-ins a blue and a white plug-in that you unplug take the wires away through the engine bay uh, on those plug-ins, there is one wire. It is an orange and black wire. I don't remember what uh, connector or pin slot it's actually in because I clipped it at the neutral safety switch. But um, you will lose your trunk button. We can't pop your trunk. And in some cases, it'll make it to where you can't crank the car. For some odd reason. I don't know why, but either way, ground that wire. It's just an orange and black wire. Ground it, and it'll make all that work again. Um, something about the way mine was, my gauges, when I turned my key on, my gauges would just kind of sit there and wig out. And then I didn't want it doing that, so I unplugged my gauges because eventually I'm going to run the 686 Pro Dash anyways. So I unplugged the gauge cluster, and when I unplugged it, for some reason, it freaked it out and... I had to go back in and ground that wire so yeah just go ahead and ground that but other than that uh i think that's pretty well it everything else can go through your holly um a two-step i'll just go ahead and tell you the way i done my two-step in your driver's side kick panel there'll be a group of wires you'll find one the way i done mine is i found the one going to the third brake light so when i hit brakes Hit the brake pedal, you know, it sends 12 volts to the brake lights. I tapped into it, robbed the 12 volts from it. I run it up to a switch on my shifter, a little button on my shifter, and then I ran it to a Holly input for the two-step or launch control or whatever. 
because I'm not running a trans brake. Now, if you're running a trans brake, you'll do this completely different. But I done it that way. That way, I have to be on the brake pedal and the button pressed and for the two-step to work. And then whichever one reacts faster, whether it be my hand or my foot coming off the brake pedal, because I foot brake the car, it will turn two-step off and I take off. But that's it. I'm done talking. Uh, hopefully, this made things a little simpler for you as far as the wiring goes. Um, if I hadn't sold my wiring harness already, I would show you what the connectors and everything look like, but it's gone. I traded it for some more parts. Y'all see later. But, uh, yeah, I've got a few things to fix on the car. Uh, just to update y'all on how the help is doing. I did take it out, and we've done some drivability tuning. The car runs and drives phenomenal. Like, better than it did before. A lot better than it did before. Uh, this Holly stuff is, it's top notch compared to stock ECM and all that. So we drove it, put good, you know, good 10 minutes of runtime on it, steady highway speeds. Um, and then the fuel rails pushed off the number eight injector and I had a major fuel leak again. I've been chasing this for a while. Um, it's my fuel rails, they're junk, they're cheap eBay fuel rails. The number eight's not drilled correctly. So it, instead of sitting at an angle like it's supposed to, it sits straight up and it just, it's a bad day. So, buy good parts. Or run stock. I'm putting stock fuel rails back on it because, I mean, I really don't need any big fuel rails for anything. I have a big pump. It's going to do what it's supposed to do. So, anyways, that's it. Done talking. Y'all be safe. Y'all have fun. If I miss anything or you have any questions about anything, feel free to comment. Um, message me on Facebook. Whatever. Yeah, just, yeah. See y'all.